Tinchy Clatula here and welcome to a, another care video. So today's care video we are looking at the Lassiodora Power High Bonner, Pink Salmon Bird Eater. Um, arguably this is going to be the biggest spider in my collection when she reaches full maturity. So without further ado, let's flip the camera around and take a look at the basic care of the Lassiodora Power High Bonner, Pink Salmon Bird Eater. The world's third largest tarantula. So here is my female Lassiodora Power High Bonner. Uh, most of Brazil has annual temperatures of around 22 degrees, 72 Fahrenheit. Only in the south and in the highest elevations, due to average fall below a tropical wet climate, climate with abundant rainfall, temperatures 25 to 77. Um, temperature for this species is about 75 to 80 or 65 to 75. For humidity, I keep all my transfers around 25 degrees. Here in the UK, we use degrees. You can use Fahrenheit or Celsius, but I use degrees. Um, humidity is about 65 to 75%. I keep my humidity all the same. I just overfill the water dishes every time I put up the water and that's how I can keep my humidity up obviously with the ventilation on these enclosures the humidity is more better managed than these enclosures um, it's an a tunic borrower when it's um, small it'll borrow when it's small but as it gets um, larger It will um, stay out more in the open or higher than the cork bark. Um, aquarium, they need a big enclosure because, like I said, these are the third, the world's third largest tarantula um, behind the Apophyus and Ferrophosa blondi ostermi. So, they need a massive enclosure. This is the Exo Tero enclosure. It's a big Exo Tero enclosure. It's not the biggest one you can get, but it's a big one. And this girl will live out her life in here. Food. Um, these guys take down anything food, so dubia roaches, mealworms, wax worms, gummy worms. Crickets, locust, you name it, this size, this girl can t handle anything. I always keep a water dish. Um, growth rate for this species is medium to fast. With proper heating and feeding, it a leg length of 4 inches within a year. Um, adult size... Um, some species may get over, attain over 10 inches in leg span. Um, so you're looking at about 8 to 10 inches in leg span. They are rather bulky. They're rich. Charcoal with reddish hairs on the abdomen, hence the common name Pink Summer Bird Eater. Um, temperament, obviously this is a bold tarantula but not aggressive as an adult. It's very sedulum. It uses a defensive pose but would rather retreat and stand and fight. They are not skittish and whenever open a little enclosure, they immediately start to walk out of the cage because this behaviour can handle this tarantula more than any other. And they relatively kick hairs. Um, they are aggressive eaters. Um, never never refused a meal uh, mine's only ever refused a meal when she's been in pre -malt. so all in all a very good spider but like I said you need a decent sized enclosure for this um, species because they do get um, 8 to 10 inches in size um, the biggest I've had a female before is 10 inches and she was bulky 
Um, they can be a bit skittish when they're small, but as they get older, they're a bit more chilled. As you can see, sort of every malt this girl gets um, large. Obviously, she's currently my second largest translate in the collection behind my Syrapatipus Minax. But as she grows, she will eclipse any size tarantula in my enclosure. Substrate, I use potting soil uh, with leaf litter. Caught bark as a hide, she rarely goes in the hide, she stays out in the open. Bit of web there is a malt mat. Big water dish, because um, she's a big tarantula, she's got the biggest water dish out of everybody. You can see why they call the pink salmon birdie ears, they've got pinkish, grey and charcoal. Um, they're a very good tarantula. I wouldn't recommend them as beginner species. More intermediate and expert, obviously due to the size of them. Then definitely not recommended for beginners. But obviously when you get more confident with your more docile species, then you could possibly look at things like the Elasidora Parahibona. I only say that um, just because the sheer size and the spider gets and the sheer size tank you need. That's why I personally stick them in the intermediate to expert keeper category. But apart from that, they are very docile, a lovely looking spider. So if you're, af if you're after a big spider that doesn't need as much humidity as the um, Ferrophosa Blondie, Sturmy, or the Ferrophosa Apophyus, then definitely look at getting the Lassitora Parahibona. Obviously, it's the world's third largest tarantula, and you'll see why if you have one yourself in the size they grow. Obviously, she will outgrow this girl, which is my Capuscari Genicolata. She'll outgrow every tarantula in my collection in size. I highly recommend getting one in your collection. Like I said, if you if you are after a big, big spider and you don't want and you don't want to um, deal with the humidity levels like you would with the Sturmy, the Blondie or Apophyus, then this is the perfect choice. Um, great tarantula. This girl's not really kicked hairs at me or anything. She was out most of the time. She goes in a. She don't really use a hide. All in all, great tarantula. So there you have it. That's a care video for the last tour of Power Hard Bonner. And like I said, this girl gets massive with every malt. She's going to get 10 times bigger than this. Went through, she's fully grown, and you'll see the size of it then. So there you have it. Last year, Power Hard Bonner. Pink Salmon Bird Eater. Highly recommended species. Definitely worth having one in your collection. And just make sure you've got a decent size enclosure. As you can see from the back of this enclosure, how big it is. This enclosure she will live her life out in. So there you have it. Thank you so much everybody for watching as always. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like exotic animals or arachnids or eight-legged hairy spiders or big spiders then you know what then you know what to do um drop a like leave a comment and subscribe to the channel um we have plenty of tarantula content coming up as always stay safe take care bye for now